I was inspired to build a 3D printer because of my father's diagnosis with pancreatic cancer, of which the only cure would be chemotherapy. And my 15-year-old self thought, hey, maybe I can try to build a biological 3D printer that can print organs. I am a biomedical engineer by trade. Fernando approached me to help him uh, because he knows that not only I have the idea, but I have the know-how, you know, to how to do this kind of project. Little did we know how complicated it could be, and so we just stuck with building a regular 3D printer. It took at least seven months to construct the 3D printer, and it was a very arduous task. Fernando is very persistent. If he wants to do something, he wants it to be done and he will not uh, quit until it's done. So how a 3D printer works is that it prints this kind of gooey paste on a hot bed plate and it does it layer by layer. And after a few minutes to a few seconds, it would be able to solidify and combine itself to build whatever object you want it to be. The possibility of 3D printing is endless because uh, we could create or modify uh, anything. The application is tremendous. Right now, we're trying to convert a regular 2D printer into a biological printer that can print out cells with just simply a paper and the ink cartridge. This is more cost-effective and practical to use for medical or research. You might uh, consider of using another kind of paper because uh, look at this, it's kind of all messy. How about like business card texture? Uh, yes. I hope to become a biomedical engineer and get accepted to a top 100 university like Stanford University because it's one of the world's leading innovators in technology. The biggest gift my Uncle Neil has given me is the knowledge and what it takes to be a biomedical engineer and I hope that in the future I'd be able to live up to his footsteps and maybe even be able to collaborate into actually building a biological printer.